Right now, a woman is in critical condition after Orlando police say she was attacked and raped in downtown after a Super Bowl party. Good afternoon. I'm Meredith McDonough. I'm Jim Payne. The victim had been at the Wall Street Cantina and was attacked in an alleyway near where she told police she normally parks. 21 year old transient Javante Jones is the accused suspect in the attack, and today he faced a judge. Watch 2's Bob Keeling is live in downtown Orlando, and Bob, there are large gaps in the victim's memory. Yeah, that's right, Jim. This is the alleyway directly behind the downtown library where this attack happened. And fortunately, even though there were gaps in the victim's memory, this suspect is a very distinctive size six foot three, almost 300 pounds. That's why investigators were able to find him only hours later. And they say at the time he was arrested, he was in possession of the victim's cell phone. Orlando police say this transient 21 year old Javante Jones kidnapped a woman, dragged her into this alleyway behind the downtown Orlando library, and raped her. Just after five yesterday morning, a citizen saw the injured woman outside this downtown bar and called for help. Um, once the officers arrived, they immediately saw that the woman's eye was bruised and her jaw was broken. Police say the victim can't remember how she came into contact with Jones, but was able to provide a good description. At six foot three and 300 pounds, they say his size helped them locate Jones nearby at Lake Eola at around noon. They say they're checking city and business security cameras, but won't confirm whether any of them actually captured the incident. I never come down here alone. Sarah Drew says she's always aware of her surroundings when she comes downtown. Oh, geez. Yeah, yeah I would definitely bring a friend or at least be on the phone if you have to go back by yourself and bring or have your key in your hand or something. Jones remains in jail without bond. And as you take a look here back live, there are no less than five cameras just within view here, right along this street where this attack happened. But again, police won't say whether or not uh, this was of a big help. Perhaps uh, this incident was also caught on camera. Coming up, all new at 5 o'clock, police address this issue of whether or not this violent attack may represent some sort of trend here in downtown. Reporting live in Orlando, Bob Keeling, West 2 News.